Yeah, hi there, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and I am in the middle of listening to your pronunciation pretest, and I just finished listening to part A right now, so you went over the different lessons, so here are my comments for you. So I think lesson eight, you need to work on this one, especially the ah, pot, mop, talk, on, mock. You have the tendency to say mock, mock, but mock. Uh, I think that one you need to work on, uh, lesson number 10. The main thing is you, you, mo <coughs> you mostly understand how to differentiate the sounds, but you're not making the one vowel longer. So we say gate, get, late, let, mate, met, right? So lesson 10, lesson 12, I think you can work on the oo, luke, tool, right? That oo sound, make that a little bit longer. Lesson 13, I think the CH and the SH, you definitely need more practice with. Lesson 14, the V, especially in the beginning of the word. So, vine, van. Uh, lesson 15, the main thing here is you understand the H and the W. You need to work on the glottal stop. For example, I say Batman, bitten. So, we'll say Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hat rack, threatened. So you need to work on that particular sound. Uh, lesson 16 is the j, major, measure, fragile, fraser, legend, lesion. So it's this sound here, the j, you need more practice with. Lesson 19, the P in the initial position. You need to work a little bit more on that one. So you have the word pace, base. Pay, base. You need to work on that P. Uh, lesson 23, kind of similar. You need to pronounce the, the T with more air. So tip, tight, train. It's not dip, dight. Tight, but it's tight, tip. And then finally, lesson number 24. So these are the lessons that you need to focus on a little bit more. So let me go over them one more time. Lesson 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 23, and 24. So what do you do? Let me show you how you can do this. So you'll go back to my course, to the pronunciation section, you'll find the first lesson. The first one is lesson number eight. So you're going to click on that. Contrasting the vowels there you a go. and ah. So this is a nine minute lesson focusing on these two vowel sounds. You want to practice doing the exercises out loud. Now if you need to, if you want me to help you with this, uh, if you go to my Voxipop discussion group or you can send me an email, um, you, can, you can take some of the words and you can practice pronouncing them then send, and send them to me and I can evaluate them. But remember my rule. Only send me one practice test per day and then make sure that you're not recording more than 60 seconds of anything. Alright, then I'll give you feedback on that. I'm now going to listen to part B of the pronunciation pretest. So I like to do this for two reasons. One, I like to learn a little bit more about you and what your goals are and why you need to improve your TOEFL score. So this is helpful for me and I can better help you improve. But also this gives me a chance to, to understand your speaking and your pronunciation of American English even more because it's spontaneous, right? 
Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to your response. Mm, hi, Michael. This is Atsa. My educational background is I'm a dentist from Pakistan. You want to say, I am a dentist from Pakistan. Remember, when you're using singular count nouns, you want to put the article A in front of those words. And I have a five year experience practicing dentistry in Pakistan. Okay. Um, now I am volunteering in different um, dental offices as an assistant in other, dental, other community clinics and uh, community centers um, as a volunteer. Okay. As a volunteer. Uh, I want people for my speaking and pronunciation abilities because uh, I want to get the 100 plus score in TOEFL. Okay. And especially uh, speaking, in the speaking I want to get 26. Okay. And also... I want to say 26, not 26, but 26. Six. I want to get 26 plus in writing. So uh, that is why I want to improve my speaking and pronunciation abilities. Okay. Um, and uh, this, uh, my goal is to achieve uh, uh, this score of um, this score, like 100 plus score, okay. um, by practicing in the course online. Thank All you. All right. Okay. So now. What I want to do now is to give you an intelligibility score, so. So on a scale of one to seven, we have um, one as being a high beginner of American English, and then seven, a near native speaker. The question is, where do you fall in this scale? So I'm gonna put you right now at about 4.4 out of seven. You seem to be fairly comfortable speaking English. As it says here, you have some accent and pronunciation variations, but they're not that distracting. They don't really interfere too much in the meaning of your ideas, right? That's it. Okay, so anyway, nice to meet you. Thank you for completing the pretest. So now you know. You know uh, what, what pronunciation lessons in my online course you want to focus on. Uh, you can also start completing independent and integrated speaking practice tests. And again, as you do these things, I recommend that you use a journal. And in the journal, I want you to write down the comments that I give you as they relate to delivery, language use, and also topic development. So when it's delivery, it means I'll give you uh, comments about your pronunciation like I'm doing today. If I talk about language use, that means I'm talking about your grammar and your vocabulary. If it's topic development, I'll discuss how you organize and develop your points. All right?